semi-main event tonight, Frank, one I am looking forward to. Tonya Evinger takes on Sarah McMahon. McMahon, the first American woman to ever win a medal in wrestling at the Olympic Games, and Evinger, an in-your-face fighter. This one could be the classic fight of tonight. There's a lot of bad blood between these two, simply because when they used to compete in wrestling together, they always compete against each other. They'd be one and two, and Sarah somehow always found a way to win. But in here tonight, she said she's a little bit nervous because Tara's got the experience. She's really worried about her stand-up game, but as always, she's tough and grind, Sarah does. She's gonna keep pushing the pace, and hopefully make time to get tired out and be able to win. And Frank, the most important question of the night regarding these two ladies, Evinger and McMahon, how is it they have both seen you naked? <laughs> and neither one of them were impressed by it either. <laughs> it's, it happens in wrestling, I was cutting weight, and I had to walk out to go check my weight real quick, and they happened to be in the room. So. <laughs> McMahon! The six-time U.S. Nationals wrestling champion at under 63 kilos, Olympic silver medalist. She is awesome. And she goes up against this lady, the veteran, Sonia Evinger. What a contest this is going to be. When I learned that they had officially added women's wrestling to the Olympics, it strengthened my drive to know that I wanted to be the one representing the U.S. Sarah McMahon's MMA career is just beginning, but she is no stranger to the limelight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our co-main event. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the United States Olympian, Sarah McMahon. Olympic medalist in Athens 2004, Sarah McMahon is being mooted as the next big thing in women's MMA. And look at the guns on her. A tremendous athlete. Wins over Julie Maliphant and Christina Marks, 2-0 as a mixed martial artist. Her credentials in wrestling are sublime. Take a look at that. Multiple U.S. national champion. Olympic silver medalist 2004. Pan-American Games champion. Bronze medalist at the FILA Wrestling World Championships. She has done it all, Sarah McMahon. And fighting out of the red corner, Tanya Evinger. The veteran, Tanya Evinger. Training out of Team Quest and also out of the hit squad. Says she has improved her stand up a lot in preparation for this one. Has been working on getting her confidence up in her striking. She's a huge striking fan. She's a huge K1 Max fan. Fighting out of Oak Grove, Missouri. Comes off a loss against Alexis Davis last time out. Before that, the win over Adriana Jenkins. Tonight, she says, taking the fight and only. A few days' notice, she's going to go hard and heavy to the jaw of Sarah McMahon. Experience to Evan Jump. Both women 30 years old. One inch the taller is Evan Jump. The weight advantage goes to McMahon. And the reach by half an inch goes to Sonia. It has the makings of a fantastic bout. Both women in the cage. Are you excited for this one? We are. Let's get it underway. Our HCNet fight meter, our experts say, even in the striking, ground game, McMahon. Speed, McMahon. Strength, McMahon. Endurance, Sarah McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your co-main event with referee David Clifton. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. She weighed in at 140 pounds, undefeated with two wins against no defeats. From Gaffney, South Carolina, she is the first American woman to medal in Olympic wrestling. Introducing Sarah McMahon. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She weighed in at 137 pounds with a record of nine wins and four losses. She hails from Odessa, Missouri. Introducing Tanya Avenger. The anticipation surrounding this one is tremendous. Let's listen in. 
All right, ladies, you got your instructions downstairs. Do I have any questions blue? Do I have any questions red? Touch them up. Let's roll. Sarah McMahon looking to keep her perfect record intact in her short blossoming career. But Evan just says experience right. and being comfortable in fight. the cage good is to her Back advantage. Just a bit for me. She prepares to throw everything hard at the face of ready? Sarah Let's McMahon. Go. The voice, Michael Chevello, Frank Trigg with you. 2004 silver medalist from the Athens Olympic Games in the all black here, McMahon. Evinger the veteran and a wily one at that. She's been working her striking. And McMahon immediately with the takedown passes goes to side control. Wow, what a risky move by Tanya to go ahead. Oh, she's got it. She's got top choke in. Evinger going for an early submission. McMahon's free at the moment. That's the one thing about Tanya that she's, she goes for it all. She goes for the Kahita making moves. She goes for the crazy moves you're not expecting. It's a very risky move to do the very off the bat, especially against someone if they catch your leg, he's going to put you on the ground and put him like Sarah did. But Tanya always looking for that big finish real quick. Avenger in her elements here. McMahon has been training with Eddie Alvarez out of the Fight Factory in Philadelphia. Goes to half guard. Great position for a wrestler to be in. She can pound away from here if she can posture up. Avenger throws the legs up. Still in half guard here, McMahon, a tremendously powerful woman, Frank. And has a great pace, a great grinding pace. She can keep the pressure on time as much as she can. Flatten her out, keep the pressure on with her shoulder, and try to wear out Carter Vasquez as well as beating her up to her body. Said she worked extensively on her range, her angles, her hip movement, her footwork with Eddie Alvarez. Said she got her ass kicked every day in the gym, but it was well worth it. Still in half guard here is Sarah McMahon. Tiny's got to move her hips a little bit more. She just can't stay underneath here. Try to dig with an underhook to her left side. See how tight Sarah's got her chest and her head down on top of Tiny. She can't really move that much. Evans needs to go ahead and turn her body, turn her underneath and dig underneath that underhook. But man, can't let her do it like she's doing. But needs a posture up if she wants to get any kind of strikes going. Already now, Avenger has lasted Longer than the previous two opponents of McMahon. McMahon finishing both of her opponents so far in under two minutes. Of course, she did find another Olympian. As one of her opponents, Julie Mellenfant, who was a weightlifter in the Olympic Games. No. Man applying the pressure here from inside the half guard. A lovely lady who does a lot of volunteer work, Sarah McMahon will be Habitat for Humanity and Safe Homes. Also travel to Sri Lanka with Olympic teammates to help the tsunami victims rebuild their homes. Very marketable lady. And Evinger looking to play the role of spoiler here tonight. Needs more activity. Evinger, ladies, who has been move. submitted in each of her losses, actually has twin younger brothers. Chris and Owen, who are also professional MMA fighters. Chris is one and two, Owen six and one. Little elbow off the chin there from Sarah McMahon. Still inside the half guard here. Here's the Olympian. As you heard earlier, as Ron Kruk interviewed Tonya Evinger, these women have wrestled each other a lot of times, Frank. Yeah, geez, I mean, it's almost the finals of every major tournament, plus the final of the national tournament. Plus the final of every minor tournament in the warm-up portion of the season. These guys will meet in the finals four, five, six times a season. Sorry. And a lot of times they match with the best two out of three, so they'd have they meet that one time that tournament have to wrestle twice to figure out who's the better one of the two. Usually in those tournaments, it was McMahon who came out the winner. And when I asked her yesterday if she thought she was inside Evinger's head because of those wrestling victories, McMahon said, I'm not gonna think that way because we weren't punching each other in the face back then. I thought it was a great comment. Tonya bouncing around the balls of her feet. She'll try and work the jab in a moment. Sarah just waiting to shoot in here, perhaps. Turning back kick from Tonya. Oh, Sarah catches the kicking leg. Good timing and gets the takedown. She's got to keep that leg from popping out on the right side. She's in a triangle position right now. Again, the power, 
the reflexes of McMahon coming to the fore here with 20 seconds remaining in the first round. Been a very active first round, very clean first round. Women's mixed martial arts is certainly Ten seconds, stop on the bell experiencing a boom. A lot of great talent coming through. We're finally getting real female athletes to come into the sport, it's not, as opposed to just girls that think they want to fight or are married to a fighter and want to step in there and, and oh, because I'm married to a fighter, I can fight too. These are real athletes. These are girls who have been doing things before, is growing up, and now they're here, they got to do it again. You look at the former Olympian, Sarah McMahon, one of those incredible martial arts pedigrees that Frank was just talking about. The turning back kick there from Tonya McMahon getting the takedown. And again, catching the kicking leg. And getting the takedown here, McMahon sweeps out the support leg nicely. Shemaine de Ramdami, of course, another mixed martial arts female fighter to come from a tremendous martial arts background. Maybe the finest women's Muay Thai fighter in history. You know, one thing Sarah did tell me about these rounds is that she hates the minute in between. She's not used to having that long minute. She wants to get up and get moving within 30 seconds. So. If you saw her in, in between the rounds, she was out of her seat bouncing the whole time. 10-9 to Sarah McMahon.